Hi, my name is uh, Giovanni De Pau. I'm full professor of surgery and chief of uh, the GI Endoscopic Surgical Unit at the University of Naples, Federico II School of Medicine in Naples, Italy. I'm pleased to have the opportunity to discuss here our article published in this month's issue of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy. Our paper presents a single sender randomized back-to-back -back trial which was uh, designed to investigate the contribution of the endocuff device to the improvement of the adenoma detection rate in the course of standard colonoscopies. Endocuff is a disposable device can be fixed on the tip of standard colonoscopes. On its circumference, it has a double row of flexible projection oriented backward. During the scope introduction, the endocuff arms collapse, while during the scope withdraw, the endocuff arms flare out and stretch the mucosa and the colonic folds, thus improving the visualization of the colonic mucosa. Indeed, this device should improve the adenoma detection rate by reducing the occurrence of overlooked adenomas. Till now, endograph had been investigated only in the context of randomized parallel trials, which showed the improvements of the adenoma detection rate. However, Parallel trials suffer from some important limitation in this field of research. Indeed, the observed difference in the adenoma detection rate among the two groups may reflect also real difference in the prevalence of adenomas, which may persist despite randomization. So, the two techniques are better tested on the same patients by back-to-back -back studies. In our study, participants received back-to-back -back tandem colonoscopies with and without the use of the endocuff device according to the randomized crossover design. The two procedures followed each other and were performed by the same endoscopist in the same endoscopic suite. Polyps found in the course of the first procedure were left in situ and were uh, removed at the end of the second procedure. Only lesion proved to be adenomatous at histology were considered in the analysis and classified according to size and location. Our results showed that endocuff improved the adenoma detection rate by 3.28 percentage points compared to the standard colonoscopy. The total number of detected adenoma also increased by 36% determining an increase of the mean number of detected adenomas per patients, which is a further indicator of the quality of the colonoscopy. Additional adenomas detected by endocuff were mainly small and located in the right and left column. In our study, Endocuff improved the diagnostic proficiency of the colonoscopy by increasing the identification of diminutive adenomas, which indeed rarely have high risk feature and progress very slowly into the cancer. Whether uh, this really contributes to the prevention of interval carcinomas remains debatable. However, Two aspects are to be kept in mind. The adenoma detection rate is mainly determined by small adenomas, which are the majority of adenomas. Nevertheless, is a predictor of interval cancer. In addition, 
identification of the multiple diminutive adenomas helps in defining the risk of the patients of developing advanced adenomas and colorectal cancer and consequently the correct interval of surveillance. In addition, endocaf determinate a more correct interval of surveillance in about 6% of patients following the current USA guidelines. Our study has several strong points due to its design, but also some limitations which are discussed in the paper. The main limitation is that the study involved patients undergoing endoscopy for several reasons. Diagnostic screening or surveillance. This makes findings applicable to daily practice. However, the prevalence of adenomas is different among these, uh, uh, these categories of patients and consequently the diagnostic profit of endocaf might be different according to the indication. This topic needs to be addressed by tailored studies together with the dedicated economic analysis which need to quantify the cost-benefit ratio primarily in comparison with other new techniques such as spectrum 